What is Spring Boot? Spring Boot is an open source and lightweight framework for development of Java based applications. It is built on the top of the Spring framework. It is developed and maintained by Pivotal Team. It is mainly used for web and command line applications. It configures all the features automatically and you can run the application with one click. What is the difference between Spring Framework and Spring Boot? Spring Framework is the most widely used Java framework for building applications. The main feature of Spring Framework is dependency injection. It helps make things simpler by allowing us to develop loosely coupled applications. Spring Boot is a module of Spring Framework. The main feature of Spring Boot is auto configuration. It automatically configures a class based on that requirement. Spring Boot makes it easy to create standalone Spring based application that you run. The main difference is, Spring Framework used several configurations for development applications. Spring Boot allows for automatic configurations using predefined class paths. What are the features of Spring Boot? The main feature is auto configuration. Spring Boot CLI. Starter POMs. Actuator. Spring Initializer. Type Safe Configuration. YAML Support. Microservices based architecture. It includes embedded Tomcat server. Better Spring Boot security. Admin support. Logging files. Spring applications. What are the minimum system requirements for Spring Boot? Java latest version. Spring Boot 2.x, above, will no longer to support Java 7 or below versions, being Java 8 is the minimum requirement. Java 8 Plus. Spring Framework 5.2.4 Plus. Build Tools. Gradle 5.x and 6.x above versions. Also support 4.4 plus. Maven 3.3 plus and above. Embedded servlet containers. Servlet 3.x plus compatible container. Tomcat 9.0 servlet v4.0 plus. Jetty 9.4 servlet v3.1. Underflow 2.0 servlet v4.0. What are the Spring Boot key components? Spring Boot Auto Configuration Spring Boot CLI Spring Boot Starter POMs Spring Boot Actuator What are some of the starter dependencies for Spring modules? Spring Boot provides a number of starter dependencies for Spring modules. Here, some of the most commonly used one are Data JPA Starter Test Starter Security Starter Web Starter Web Services Starter Mail Starter Time Leaf Starter What is a Spring Boot Actuator? Actuator is a sub-project of Spring Boot. It provides several endpoints in order to monitor and manage with your application. It does so by providing built-in endpoints, but you are also able to build your own endpoints. Also provides easy way to access the production-ready rest points and fetch all the information from the web. Actuator make it very easy to integrate your application with any external system with a very minimal configuration. How to enable Spring Boot Actuator Check the following Maven dependency in your existing palm.xml file. Dependency Group .boot web link. Artifact hide Spring Boot Starter Actuator slash Artifact did Slash Dependency what is Spring Boot CLI? Spring Boot CLI is a command line interface tool for Spring Boot application. It uses Groovy Script. It is a powerful tool for create slash manger your applications. List the Spring Boot CLI commands. Run command. Test command. Grab command. Jar command. War command. Install command. Uninstall command. Init command. Shell command. Help command. What are the common Spring Boot annotations? Some common Spring Boot annotations are at Spring Boot application. 
at Spring Boot Configuration, at Component Scan, at Enable Auto Configuration, at Import Auto Configuration, at Auto Configure Before or After or Order, Conditional Annotations, at Conditional on Bean and at Conditional on Missing Bean, at Conditional on Not Web Application and at Conditional on Web Application, at Conditional on Property. At conditional on resource. At conditional on expression. At conditional on cloud platform. What are the most used Spring Actuator endpoints? Slash beans. This endpoint returns a complete list of all the Spring beans in your application. Slash dump. It performs a thread dump. Slash env. This endpoint returns list of properties in current environment. Slash health. For your application health information. Slash trace, for trace logs. Slash info, displays arbitrary application information. Slash audit events, audit events information from the current application. Slash mappings, it display the list of all at request mapping paths. Slash metrics, shows the metrics information he.g, JVM, system CPU, open files. What is use of relaxed binding in Spring Boot? Spring Boot uses some relaxed rules for binding environment properties to at configuration properties beans, so there does not need to be an exact match between the environment property name and the bean property name. Name some of the Spring sub projects Spring Data, Spring Batch, Spring Integration, Spring Security, Spring Social. How to add custom JS code in Spring Boot. In Spring Boot, first you create a folder called static under resources folder. You can put your static content in that folder. For example, the path to interview gigap.js would be resources backslash static backslash js backslash interview gigap.js. You can refer it your code with script src equals slash js slash interview gigap dot js slash script can you explain auto configuration in spring boot auto configuration is an important feature to automatically configure an application based on dependencies that are present on the class path as jars beans properties etc requiring no efforts from the developer Spring Boot Auto Configuration attempts to automatically configure your Spring application based on the JOR dependencies that you have added. Can you explain how to register a custom auto configuration? To register an auto configuration class, we must have its fully qualified name listed under the Enable Auto Configuration key in the meta inf slash spring dot factories file colon equals org.springframework.boot.autoconfigure.enable auto configuration equals com.bl.autoconfigure.custom auto configuration. If we build a project with Maven, that file should be placed in the resources, meta inf directory, which will end up in the mentioned location during the package phase. What is the difference between an embedded container and a war? You can run Spring Boot application as a JOR file from the command prompt without setting up a web server. But to run a WAR file, you need to set up a web server like Tomcat, or Underflow, or Jetty which has servlet container and then you need to deploy a WAR file there. Why we use Spring Boot Maven plugin? It is Maven plugin built by Spring Boot team to make packaging your applications easier. It provides a few commands which enable you to package the code as a JOR or run the application. The plugin provides several goals to work with a Spring Boot application. Spring Boot Repackage Create a JOR or WAR file that is auto executable. It can replace the regular artifact or can be attached to the build lifecycle with a separate classifier. Spring Boot Run Run your Spring Boot application with several options to pass parameters to it. Spring Boot Start and Stop Integrate your Spring Boot application to the integration test phase so that the application starts before it. Spring Boot Build Info Generate a build information that can be used by the actuator. Expl explain how to enable HTTP/2 support in Spring Boot. Adding below property to your properties or file. 
server.http web link. What is Spring Boot in Italizer? It is a Spring Boot tool to bootstrap boot or Spring applications very easily. What are the Spring Boot starters? A starter is just a Gradle or Maven module with the sole purpose of supplying all the necessary dependencies to get started with specific functionality. Spring Boot starters make the bootstrapping process much easier and faster. The starter brings you required Maven dependencies as well as some predefined configuration bits. What is use of Spring Boot dependency management? It is used to manage dependencies and configure automatically without you specifying the version for any of the dependencies. Spring upgrades all dependencies automatically in a consistent way when we update the Spring Boot version. What is use of Timeleaf? Timeleaf is one of the Java-based libraries used to create web app. It provides a support for serving the XHTML slash HTML5 in web apps. It is powerful template processing engine for the Spring framework. What are the pros of Spring Boot? The main name of Spring Boot is reduce the lock. It provides a lot of default configurations which helps in bootstrapping Spring application faster. It is mainly used for create to standalone applications. Not require XML configuration. Easy to create Spring applications. It comes with embedded Tomcat or Jetty server. It provides a lot of plugins. It provides a CLI applications, like share and comment. Don't forget to click the subscribe button. Click the bell button for latest updates.